It's a pretty common sight in Evergreen. This isn't. His antlers are like, I mean, he's huge. When Deb Meyer noticed him, she was worried. I'm afraid that he's going to wander up into one of the more remote areas and get stuck. And if he can't get freed, then he's, you know, likely to get eaten by some other animal. She started a Facebook group, Help the Elk, even pled with wildlife officials to tranquilize it and help it. You know, they just kind of blew me off. This is something we see actually every fall. Whether it's a soccer net, Christmas lights, or in this case, what appears to be a clothing line fixture, there's always a few who find themselves in a tangle during mating season. They're full of testosterone and hormones and out there looking to breed, and so um, they get into some trouble sometimes. Jennifer Churchill with Colorado Parks and Wildlife says the elk can still eat, breathe, and see. A tranquilizer could be too stressful with all the hormones and testosterone, so they're just going to let it be and let people enjoy. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. They'll get it off, you know, and they rub up their antlers on trees and stuff, so they'll come off. It's very important to remember that these are wild animals, and we need to make sure that we don't always intervene. I realize that he is a wild animal. When you see elk this often, you can get attached, and for Deb, that's what's hard. We can't see something like this happen and be able to help them and then not help them. I think he'll work it out eventually. 